welcome back to the channel i've got my hat hair going on today and i've got a kind of a muddy mess in here and i was working with some water that is why i've got mud all over my tarps here i wanted to show everybody how i set up a diy aquaponics bucket and this doesn't have to be aquaponics this can just be a hydroponic system or you can put fish in the bottom bucket this is kind of a mock setup this is our old chicken water container we found a bunch of these i didn't actually use my chicken container but we found a bunch of these on sale so i picked a few up and i want to use like three or four of these on our big black container that we were using to store water in here where our tarps are now so i wanted to show everyone how easy this is and how simple it is i really don't have many parts once i had my hole drilled here which there was a perfect hole on the bottom of this container and it perfectly fit the hole that i needed for our our bulkhead this is just a little bulkhead that I had got at the local hardware store all the other pieces I had I had this three to four inch PVC pipe got some inch and a half two inch PVC pipe with a cap put some notches at the bottom to allow water flow and basically I just have my bulkhead attachments so I had all of this PVC laying around I just went and grabbed my bulkhead all of this right here the locking nut and the washer that goes with it and hold that up and show it so this basically goes right through your hole there i'm going to kind of demo this real quick so looking at the bottom here you can see where the hole where it was manufactured and i just cut right through that so this isn't very easy with one hand holding the camera so you've got your o-ring and your bulkhead attachment and we're going to stick that right through here now i came up top here and i have my o-ring there and the locking nut that locks this whole entire bulkhead together i'm going to screw this on real quick so here we are with reverse threading tightening this down let's check out the other side so you've got your bulkhead and your spot where you can screw right in there for your drain so this piece here is our actual siphon and it's just a little small fitting that is going to screw right in there and i measured this up to be about an inch below the actual top of the container so i don't overflow this so now that this is attached nice and firm i'm going to attach our bottom spigot i just had this little elbow and crudely taped it in there with a little fitting all of this plumbing i already had laying around in the garage this is going on the bottom side so here it is attached i have that screwed in and that is basically just where your water is going to bilge out back into your overflow tank here so your next piece in this system is going to be the cap that sits right on top i picked a piece that would sit flush with my bulkhead and it kind of wobbles around but it never gets stuck and it always allows the water down and it is a fail proof system you can experiment with different sizes but this is what i've got to work for me this is our first removable piece here and we've got our second removable piece and this basically just slips over enough to allow all the water to flow basically and i just drilled all the holes it was pretty tedious to make this but you can buy all these pieces i did it super cheap this system worked well for us last summer we propagated tons and tons of plants just like all of these faster with water and clay rocks so that leads me to the next step is putting clay rocks in but i want to show this water flow and our little system we've got this super tiny little water pump in here you can see that tiny little black box with our hose and the output line so we've got this solar panel here i'm just going to set that so it gets some decent light i need to clean that but you can see that we've got decent water flow already and that isn't taking long to fill up the bottom of this and it doesn't take very long to actually transfer enough water where this will build you can see all our new clay pebbles mixed with our old ones we had washed off all of the little holes and all the pores in this hold a lot of bacteria and allow their plants to throw off all those roots super quickly and allow good growth and healthy growth as i sit and wait for this to fill this up you can see the purpose of each of these layers we have the bell inside covering up our actual siphon the water is pulled around it and this outer layer with the holes allows everything to flow allowing all the water to move through the medium but not allowing the medium to interfere or any obstructions into our drain pipe so we just hit our bilge this filled up you can see we got plenty of water in there our bilge is running down there perfectly you can see the water flowing out at a decent rate and all of these rocks will slowly sink a little bit 
and basically this is the gist of it this is how an aquaponic system works super simple just using solar power that little tiny solar panel super small fountain pump for a little pond a little ladybug friend there checking us out so if anyone has any questions on an aquaponic system or how to set one up it was super simple to do i just did a little research and put all this together myself last summer and i was redoing the system and i'm going to build a few more of these so i may film the process of building those as well.